With this guitar soloing lesson for beginners video, we'll take you another step closer to being able to solo and improvise by introducing the tremolo picking technique. Along with guitar tabs and practice backing rhythm tracks, we'll cover it all with the step-by-step -step approach. The first step with tremolo picking is to keep the strumming hand steady and in position. And for most of us, that will be the right hand. Uh, you have a few options on how to go about doing that. Uh, I'll show you the first one, and that is taking your three and four fingers of the strumming hand and just resting them on the front of the guitar here, just below the, in my case, the sound hole. Uh, if you have an electric or steel string, maybe you have a pick guard. Uh, you place the three and four fingers down, and that will keep the strumming hand steady, and that'll help you with the speed effect. Um, another option, uh, since especially in this lesson we're going to be focusing just on the second string, we want the other strings muted, so another option is to take the palm of your hand and just sort of lay it down on the strings. Uh, that'll keep the uh, strumming hand steady as well. Or you can do both. I've got the palm of the hand laying on the strings, and I've got the three and four fingers down uh, for added support. Um, I might go back and forth. Again, once you get started, you're going to find uh, the best approach that works best for you. So we'll go a bit, little bit back and forth in this lesson between those uh, different approaches. So with that, we now go to the actual tremolo picking. And tremolo picking, uh, I would summarize as tiny, rapid, up and down strokes with the pick. Uh, sometimes they call them alternate strokes. And uh, what we're going to do is focus, again, on just one note to start. That's going to be on the second string, fifth fret. And again, uh, rest the strumming hand any way that you kind of want to start off doing. Uh, but the key is, start off with a steady down up strum. You want the up strokes to be just as loud as the down strokes. And if you got a steady thing going right there, as I mentioned earlier, it's tiny, rapid up and down strokes. So once you start to get that rhythm, um, to get that speed going, um, I sort of visualize a hummingbird's wings, a bumblebee's wings. Uh, very tiny. You don't want to dig in too much to the string because the string will put up resistance. Uh, you want the pick barely touching the string. Uh, it can also be somewhat of, a, somewhat of an angle if you want, but here's what I mean about picking up that speed. Again, tiny, rapid up and down strokes. So we're getting going here and then... Again, it may take a while to get this, but once you can get that sort of momentum going there. We're ready now to apply the tremolo picking technique to playing a scale. Now with this lesson we'll apply tremolo picking technique to the minor scale. The minor scale is a very versatile sounding scale. Uh, it could be sad, serious, Spanish, or even flamenco-like depending on what the background rhythm is. And we're going to start off with the key of A minor along the fifth fret position. So that second string fifth fret uh, is part of the key of A minor. If you know the A minor box pattern, that might help a little bit because what we're going to do is we're going to start to tremolo pick going up the second string uh, in A minor. And what we have to do, um, we could apply the fret numbers to memorize it, but instead we're going to apply intervals and steps. And the reason why is this tremolo picking pattern is movable. You can be able to play it in different keys if you know the intervals or the steps. And what I mean by intervals and steps, those are distances between frets. A half step is going up one fret. A whole step is a span of two frets. So if you move up a half step, you move up one fret. If you move up a whole step, you move up two. So. With that, we're going to, again, be in A minor, starting on the second string, fifth fret. And if we're part of that box pattern, um, again, if you've covered the previous flamenco riffs lessons that set us up for this one, you already know when the second string goes five, six, eight, or an interval pattern of a half step and a whole step. So let's apply the tremolo technique climbing up the second string, and here's how we'll do it. We'll get a get started on that second string fifth fret and then with our middle finger we'll just sort of 
place that down a half step up. So we're going from the fifth to the sixth fret or a half step. So now I'm going to just call them by the steps or the intervals. Half step. Then we're going to go a whole step. Now when we normally play the A minor box pattern, when we're soloing or riffing, we'll use our pinky for that eighth fret. But for this tremolo technique, what we're going to do, we're going to keep the second middle finger down. So five, six, and look at this. So sort of sliding up a real fast slide. Um, by keeping that same finger down, it kind of gives you more of a speed effect rather than lifting off. So the interval pattern so far is going to be a half step and then a whole step, and we keep that second middle finger down for the whole steps. Here's how it'll start. So we've got fifth fret, then a half step, and then a whole step. And then, just for fun, try to maintain it going back down. Let's do that again. Next we're going to extend this interval pattern. We're going to climb up the fretboard here, again in the key of A minor. Uh, you don't have to know how to play A minor over the whole fretboard. Again, for this beginner's lesson, we just have to memorize an interval pattern to climb up. We already have our beginning here, half step, whole step. Um, what we're going to do next, we're going to add to it a little bit, we're going to extend it to, uh, and I'll start from the beginning, a half step, and then whole step, whole step, whole step. So one half step followed by three whole steps. And we're going to keep the two finger down the whole time. And with those three whole steps, we're going to end up on that second string 12th fret. So let's do a run like that and uh, see how that sounds. Again, the key is keeping the fretting hand pressed against the fretboard. If you lift off, you're going to interrupt that sort of momentum a little bit. Now let's add something. That happens to be a root note, uh, the A root note. So. Um, at the end of that run, if you kind of flatten that first finger or move it over to the top string 5th fret, um, that's going to produce a harmonized ending when we start playing with rhythm. So uh, let's do another run again. Uh, again, we're reviewing the half plus three whole steps and then, ending on the, then going back down and ending on the root note. One, two, ready, go. Next we'll extend the interval pattern even more. Uh, it helps if you happen to have a cutaway on your guitar or an electric guitar because we're going to go beyond the 12th fret here. Uh, you could still do this on a standard acoustic and I'll give you some tips as we start to climb up. But again, hopefully we have it memorized so far. Uh, half step plus three whole steps. If we were to continue on after that third whole step on the 12th fret, we would continue with a half step and then two other whole steps. So climbing up that second string, again starting from the fifth fret, a uh, half step plus three whole steps, then a half step plus two whole steps, or half three, half two. Uh, let's do a run right now and see how that sounds. And then the key is, if you, have, if you don't have a cutaway, you bring your hand out. Let's see how I'm doing that. That way you get a little bit better of an angle with that middle finger going down on the string there for better tone. And I'm using the same fingers all the way. Except for the end here, we go to the first finger. And then don't forget that root note ending. And what we'll do in the next clip, uh, we'll practice the same run but it'll be with a backing rhythm so you can hear how these notes will harmonize. 
uh, with a backing flamenco rhythm. Again, we're in the key of A minor, uh, but it will also be a guide track. So uh, if you want, you can sort of play along with that. Uh, it'll help uh, set a sense of tempo for you. Maybe you don't want to play too fast or too slow. The key is to see if you can keep up with the guide solo track and have some clarity from all the notes that you're playing. Next we'll combine the tremolo picking run we just did in A minor with some previous riffs we learned in other lessons also in A minor. Uh, we'll go over those riffs right now. We'll have three of them. Uh, the first riff is a riff that I refer to as the minor scale riff. And then we'll follow that with the hammer-on riff. It involves hammering technique. and then the low strings riff. And again, if you want to work on those riffs, they are in previous lessons. You can check out my Flamenco Lessons playlist if you want to go over them in more detail. But otherwise, what we're going to do is play those riffs in the running order we presented them in, and then we'll go to the tremolo picking run as our fourth option. Um, in this next clip, we're going to speed, up, speed it up a little bit. You don't have to play it exactly like this. As long as you play the correct notes, you want to hear how they harmonize uh, along with the backing rhythm. And then we'll probably have time after that to play or repeat maybe those first three riffs again uh, before the uh, rhythm track will end. But the key is uh, to get that initial running order of the minor scale riff, the hammer-on riff, the low strings riff, and the tremolo picking and then going back and starting everything over again. And then at the end, we're going to go for a harmonized ending. Now, you may be at a different point than I am, but a harmonized ending will be the root notes, um, the A root notes on the bottom string, fifth fret, but better options will be the A note on the fourth string, seventh fret, or even the A note on the top string, fifth fret. It just happens to be where you happen to land right when the song ends. Hopefully you'll be playing along with me uh, with that guide solo. Uh, but that's what we'll do next. A little bit of a longer jam track now, again in A minor, combining the tremolo picking with some previous riffs. Now if you do know how to play in different keys, you know that all the riffs we just covered are movable. Uh, so by simply shifting higher or lower along the fretboard, uh, you can repeat everything we just did. You would just be playing in a different key. For example, let's say we wanted to do a jam in the key of G minor. Uh, again, it's the minor scale in G, another way of looking at it. Well, if we know that A is along the fifth fret, uh, two frets below it, A, A flat, G, um, Again, with everything we just covered in the previous clips, uh, we just shifted down two frets. So, um, again, fingers are doing the same thing, we're just hearing a different key. And again, that's why we emphasize the intervals for the 
uh, pattern instead of frets because as long as you remember half, one, two, three whole steps, a half, one, two whole steps, and then working our way back down and ending on the root note. Um, what we'll do is in the next clip we will review um, these riffs with a backing rhythm track in the key of G minor. Uh, but this time there will not be a guide solo. Uh, that will allow you to sort of try your own running order if you want. I'll put the riffs up as an option. Uh, but that way you can sort of experiment around, see how you sound on your own, uh, combining tremolo picking with standard flamenco riffs in the key of G minor. Next, let's try combining riffs in the key of B minor. So we're going to move higher up the fretboard. Again, if we have A as our sort of foundation here on the fifth fret, A, A sharp, B, key of B minor here. Now, as we move higher up the fretboard, uh, it's going to be a little bit more challenging to play that complete interval pattern. And the reason why I brought this up is you don't have to do a complete run of the uh, tremolo picking interval pattern. Uh, again, starting on that second string, you can just do a partial run and then work your way back down as well. Also, you can be a little bit creative as well. Just sort of dancing around here. Once you become familiar with the pattern, by all means, Try out some of your own riffs as well. I would still do a root note focus. It helps with the phrasing and all of that. But um, again, all the same riffs. This time we're just a little bit higher up. Uh, but again, you can mix and match them in any order you want in the key of B minor. Once you have this lesson down, the next step is to study intervals more so you can apply tremolo picking to different strings and also to work on variations with the minor scale riffs you know. And doing both will bring you another step closer to being able to solo and improvise with the minor scale.